Hello everybody, it's Michael Fletcher. I am back. I hope this time our the microphone situation will be straightened out. But I'd like to give you my thoughts on something that I just read on ESPN.com today, which was a very interesting article. And it had to do something with Manny Pacquiao saying that he probably will be looking at retiring from the world of boxing within three years. He says that he cannot go beyond... Uh, he doesn't see himself going beyond the age of 35 when he finally leaves the boxing ring once and for all. As everybody knows, he's currently a senator in the Filipino government uh, down in his native homeland in the Philippines. However, there was one thing that caught my eye and really had me, in a point, a little annoyed. Is that... Um, basically he says that he's willing to fight Juan Manuel Marquez, and, but basically he doesn't think that the fight will excite the fans or that he doesn't see in himself that he doesn't think that he would even watch a Juan Manuel Marquez versus Manny Pacquiao 2. This got me very irate because of the fact that I truly feel that I think boxing would like to see a Marquez Pacquiao too because of how this fight ended the first time around. Yes, in my opinion, it was the fight of the year a couple of years ago. And plus, Juan Manuel Marquez has been begging, wanting an opportunity to get another shot at the Pac-Man after a close loss the first time around. Now, I know everybody in boxing is begging for a big fight between Floyd Mayweather and um, and Manny Pacquiao. But let's be realistic. Floyd is ducking Manny on so many levels. But now we got the, the legal problems for Floyd Mayweather. I don't even think it's even humanly possible for a fight to go down. Now, I heard a lot of people talking about Sergio Martinez, especially now after uh, Sergio Martinez's unbelievable knockout of Paul Williams that went down last, uh, uh, last Saturday night. And if you want my thoughts about that, you can go on to my previous uh, YouTube post, which is the double hitter on HBO Boxing, Margarito Pacquiao plus the... Sergio Martinez versus uh, Paul Williams. But a lot of people were also uh, questioning the fact of that fight because of the fact that either Pacquiao has to go up in weight or Martinez would have to go down in weight. Martinez is at 160. Uh, Pacquiao is at 147. The only logical way I see this happening is if either fighter goes down to maybe a 154 level for this fight to happen, but I don't think it's even possible, in my opinion. With Juan Manuel Marquez right now, he is probably the only fighter I see realistically being the likely opponent for, for Manny Pacquiao. Even though Pacquiao might be thinking, no, uh, you know, it might not be an entertaining fight, Juan Manuel Marquez, when they originally fought, I think they fought somewhere around the 130, 135 range. Pacquiao has gone up in weight, gone through four different weight classes since that fight. But Marquez has also gone up in those weight classes up to the 147 level just for the fact and for the right so that he could get another shot at Manny Pacquiao. He feels that, you know, it was a close decision. He lost the fight. But he feels like he could be the one to put Manny Pacquiao not only in trouble. But possibly to beat Manny Pacquiao. And that would basically take all this luster of him being the best for best, pound for pound fighter in the world, and that all be for naught. 
Basically, in my opinion, now I know I'm going to get hate mail from this, but I don't care. I think Pacquiao is ducking Marquez. I think with every success and every destroyment that he has made, Juan Manuel Marquez has done the same thing. He has fought some of the best fighters in the world to get a shot at Manny Pacquiao. I just think with Pacquiao being so great, and now with this thing being so distracting, him being a senator, I don't think he's got this real mentality of that he really wants to fight anybody other than Floyd Mayweather. Until he fights Mayweather, he won't be satisfied with anybody else. But you got a guy who's ready, willing, and able to fight you, Manny Pacquiao, at 147 for a revenge fight, basically, that would, I believe, bring you 20, 25, 30 million dollars guaranteed. And for this thing saying that, oh, the fans will not be excited, trust me, they will be excited to see a Marquez Pacquiao 2. You are definitely underestimating. The, the draw that Juan Manuel Marquez does bring. Do you think that, would you like to see a Marquez versus Pacquiao 2? Would you like to see a Martinez versus Pacquiao? Or do we all want to see the big one, uh, Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather? Leave your comments at the bottom. I will, I always will enjoy to hear what you guys have to say about it. Thank you for for watching this and listening to this. And until then, I will see you very soon. I'm Mike Fletcher. You know the routine, everybody. Hugs and hand pounds, and I am out so long.